British and French troops are training together in Northumberland this week as the two countries adopt the closest military alliance in their joint history. Soldiers from Five Scots are alongside a French Army parachute company for the live fire exercise in Otterburn. It's being seen as the first practical demonstration of the Defence and Cooperation Treaty signed by the two countries' leaders in 2010. Carla Prater has the story. French soldiers training in Britain. Our tactics may be different, our political and economic viewpoints sometimes miles apart. But when it comes to our armed forces, we're working together. In November 2010, David Cameron and Nicolas Sarkozy signed the Defence and Security Cooperation Treaty, paving the way for a relationship between the French and the British Army. It was seen as a way to protect the two countries, to save on the cost of weapons and procurement by forming a joint expeditionary force. Last year, we saw this cooperation in Libya. Now they're together on the training field. Here in Otterburn, the 8th Marine Infantry Parachute Regiment have arrived from southern France to train with five Scots on a company-level firing exercise. It's very different the way we train. Once we uh, initially got into it, uh, we found a good rhythm and uh, I think we're starting to provide some really beneficial training, uh, especially for the French as well. It's very different. They uh, haven't done this sort of thing before. Uh, they tend to either fire or manoeuvre and not do both at the same time. I started with the operation in uh, Libya uh, a few months ago and uh, I think that our political uh, men try to work more and more between the two uh, states. Something uh, very interesting for all the troops. Five Scots and members of Three Power have already been over to France, training in their state-of-the-art urban operations facility. In return, they're hosting in Northumberland, helping the French take advantage of the firing opportunities on our ranges. In France, there are restrictions on training, which is why coming to Otterburn is particularly valuable. Here they get to combine large-scale attacks and live firing at the same time. Yeah. They almost have 360 uh, arcs. They can almost fire anywhere, and they just don't have that facility in, in France. I think it's, uh, I think it's important, um, especially if we're looking to do uh, further operations. If we are going to work together, then we need to be able to play together. So if we're not training, uh, training together, then it, it, it's just not going to work when it goes for real. The extent of our military cooperation with France will be up for discussion when the Prime Minister travels to Paris tomorrow for defence talks. First thing is we've got stuff to learn from each other which will improve what we do. And the second thing is professionally, in the future, we are going to be working in a combined uh, environment. Therefore, learning how to work closely with the French will stand us in good stead sometime in the future when we're working in an international treaty. The aim is for Britain and France to create a binational rapid reaction force to potentially deploy together. Tomorrow's meeting will discuss this military cooperation so we could be seeing more exercises like this one in the future. Carla Prater, Forces News, Otterburn.